Hello everyone! In today's video, you'll be learning about how to produce an excellent metric drawing using Rhino and Adobe Illustrator. This video focusing on the connected workflow between the two in order to produce a line drawing. We will start with something like this that you see on the screen and turn into something like this. Now let's begin. So, as you have seen, I've already modeled something in Rhino. So before you watch this video, make sure you have finished everything that you want to model in Rhino first. Now, in today, we're just going to focus on one window. So we're just going to double click on the perspective. So that's the only window that we see. It just makes things a lot easier. Now, in order to produce an axonometric metric drawing, we need to first change the particular view into Excel view, or more specific, an ISO view. In order to do that, we go to the little triangle next to perspective, go to set view, isometric, and for today, we're going to use SE. Basically, it's a southeast direction of viewpoint. There's four viewpoints you can choose. Now, SE worked the best for this one. So, already, this is already an Excel view for the model. And the next thing we want to do is we want to select the whole thing by either left click the mouse button, shovel over the whole model, or Shortcut, Control A to select all. And now we're going to use a very important command in Rhino in order to produce a line drawing. And it's called Make 2D. If we type Make 2D in the command bar, it will come up. So basically what Make 2D does is in the default setting, it's going to capture the current view that you have and produce a 2D line drawing from it. So from the 2D drawing options that we see here that pops up, the current view is parallel, which is the axle view that we want, and the projection, we're just going to leave it as view. And for the object properties, we're going to make sure we click maintain source layers. What this does is that in the future, when you make a Rhino model with all the different layers, this option is going to make sure that all these layers is maintained when you produce a 2D line drawing. It's very important to make sure that's clicked. Now, normally, Rhino will have this hidden line clicked, but we just want to make sure this is not clicked except the group output. Everything else, just leave it unticked. And we'll press OK. And there we go. And now a 2D drawing is already produced. If we exit this window, go to top. And that is an Axel 2D drawing from Rhino. Now we're going to export this into Illustrator. We select the whole thing. Go to File. Export selected. And for the file type, we're going to choose Illustrator. We're going to do testing or what? And in the export options, there is two ways. Normally, I like to click preserve model scale. So that's going to export it in a certain scale. Make sure the unit are the same. So millimeters for this project and millimeters as the output. 101 basic means 1 to 100 scale. So now everything else just let us default, press OK. We're going to go to the folder, or I've already got Illustrator open, so I'm just going to go to Illustrator. And I'm going to press open, run the file, open. And there we go. Now it's been exported in Illustrator, and it's quite small. We can just transform it. So we select the whole thing. And personally, I like to go to the top here. Now, normally this is unclicked like this, but if we click it, it's going to transform in scale. So we're going to change this number into, let's just say 500. And we're going to drag it top. And boom, straight away, there's this align drawing illustrator. Now, as you see at the beginning of the video, I changed the stroke weight. So how do you do that? Very simple. Select the whole thing, go to stroke, the point. I personally like to have 0 0.5, so it's a little bit thinner. And again, this is our personal preferences, so it's up to you, really. And click again. And there you go, that is an axonometric drawing made with Rhino and Adobe Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful, and please stay tuned for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.